Hello everyone, it's Anthony. Welcome to Quick Phonetics. Learn the basic sounds of the English language and practice your pronunciation with this quiz, quick lesson, focusing on some specific phonetic symbols. Learn new words by reading from the phonetic symbols and increase your vocabulary the right way with the correct pronunciation of your new words. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at uh, some special considerations. So uh, let's just go directly to the first slide and begin our uh, special consonant combinations. Okay, this is a particular lesson. We're going to be looking at some very particular problems in the English language. Uh, the first with the letter S, the symbol S, and the sound P, T, L, M, N, W. And then we'll be looking at uh, seven, this kind of problem. We'll, uh, this is um, a uh, lack of a vo vowel. You see there are two consonant sounds there, and they actually produce a syllable. We're going to look at more problems with the uh, the schwa sound, weave and weave. We'll look at sim syllabic consonants, uh, the L and the end. Well, that's already stated here. Uh, the initial sound, like in the word hit, hit, rather than it, and uh, Lastly, we will be looking at the linking adjacent words, or what is the first uh, consideration of lysen, like in the two-word combination, come up, come up. Okay, let's look at the consonant combinations, these clusters, okay? First, we'll see the uh, S with the P, the T, and the K. Okay, we'll just practice that, okay? We find this in words like speak, okay? You see how I go from the long S, sp, speak, okay? Practice that. Stool. You see the word stool, sky, repeat that. Now we'll look at the F with L sound, words like flute, very difficult, flute, practice that. Fleece, fleece, both sounds are long, the F is long, the L is long, and the I is long. The S is also long, it's not underlined, but it's all long in this word. Flutter, flutter, okay. Let's look at the S, P, and L together, like in the word Splice. Listen. S splice. Okay. It's very difficult to make that L long, but you can hear the sound. Uh, splice. Okay. I made it long that way, but uh, it's really breaking here. Uh, try to repeat this word. S splice. We have another one, spleen, splay. Okay, then we have some other combinations, P and L, B and L, K and W. Plus, okay, this is 
short sound, it's a plosive, and then we have the long L and short sound with the vowel plus. Okay, you can make the L long, but that's really not very natural. Plus, but the L is long. Plus, plus. Blue. Quite. Okay, now we're going to do a listening exercise, uh, actually a speaking exercise. I'm going to give you the phonetic word, the phonetic uh, representation, and I want you to try to read this. Okay, so you read it, and then I will correct it. So you listen to me after, and decide if your sound is similar. Okay, go ahead and read this. Speak. Okay, was it similar? Let's go to the next one. Read. Flute. Okay, next one. Read. Plus. And the last one. Splice. Okay, I hope you were good with that. Uh, let's look at some other combinations. We have the, again, the initial S with some other consonants, the L, the M, the N, and the W. All right, let's look at the first words. Sweet. Okay, one of the tendencies is to produce a, not a S sound, but the Z, and say th something like sweet. Sweet, but it's not with a vocalized S. It's the unvoiced sweet. Okay, it's nice and sweet. Sleep. Repeat. Snoop. Okay, very, very, very easy to use the Z sound here instead of the n s the s soft s snoop try to keep that like that the mistake is a snoop a snoop snoop easier but uh, not english s smile s snake Smell. Okay, let's do this exercise together. Read the word, and then I will correct. Read. S smile. Next word. Read. S snake. Next word. Read. Sweet. And the last word. Read. Sleep. Okay. Now, let's look at the short vowels between two long consonants. Okay, the first one we have short consonants, very simple. Cut. Okay, that, that uh, sound is very clear. Cut. Cut. Now a little bit longer at the end, come. And finally we have mum. Okay, we didn't underline the M's, but those are long sounds, so a little bit difficult to try to do that. Mum. Okay, let's look at another example. Gap. Guess less. Okay, so I'm emphasizing the long consonants and making a very short vowel sound. Listen again. Less. 
Okay. Cup. Cost. Soft. Okay, the difficulty is to make those sounds long. Soft. All right, let's look at the last group. Stem. Stocks. Fluff. Okay, now we're, we're using two long consonants here and a long consonant here. So the sound is fluff. Okay, there's no sound produced here. This is not a syllable. It's not fluff. It's fluff. Okay, let's try to do the exercise. Read less. Read soft. Read mum. Okay, that's what should be written here. We have the long consonant sounds, okay? So uh, just to remind you that uh, if you like, uh, subscribe channel below, hit the notification button so you can get all of the videos that uh, will be produced and you will get an email. Uh, also click the like if you want and uh, remember that you can write comments. So I will answer any comments that come through the chat. Um, let's continue. The syllabic L and N sounds, okay, this is a consonant that forms a syllable on its own. So we saw seven at the beginning. You'll see that we have two long consonants, the V and the N. The N is a syllabic N, so it's seven, seven actually produces a syllable seven okay not like the other ones that we saw fluff one syllable table okay. also the l makes this same uh, consideration there's a syllable table okay lesson People, waffle, weevil. Okay, so we're producing a syllable. All right, let's practice. Read, lesson, read. Table. Read. Seven. Very good. Okay, let's look at the final schwa sound, the final consonants without the schwa. Just to practice this. Suna. Okay, one of the videos that I talked about the schwa. I uh, got comments about some, some accents. They will produce an R, the American accent, sooner, there's a little bit of an R, uh, but we are practicing just to perfect the sound, okay? And then if you want to say sooner, that's fine, you can say that, but just to be able to control your voice and produce the sound like in the received pronunciation, which is what we have here. This is the phonetic reading from the Re RP, the received pronunciation. Soon. Okay. Soon. Tell. Tell. Bomb. Bomb. Weave. Weave. Pete. Pete. 
send send that's missing an e here this should be send sorry i was just paying attention to the phonetics the word is send and this is send okay let's practice read soon Pete read bomb read tell okay let's look at the H and the initial vowels without the H heat it's very difficult put a lot of pressure push as much as you can heat in the beginning it may take effort but then you will have a better accent a better pronunciation when you go to produce this quickly heat remember that one of the things you can do you put a paper in front of your mouth heat 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 okay so you can actually see that they, you're moving the paper eat howl owl hotter otter i Higher. Hail. Hail. Hops. Oscar. Hut. Utter. East. Heaps. Okay. Repeat those words again, and let's do a little exercise. Repeat, read, and I will give you the answer. It, eat. Number two, read. Heat. Number three, read. Hail. Read. Ale. Read. Heaps. Read. East. Okay. Linking adjacent words. This is called liaison. It's uh, very common in French. We'll just look at this kind of liaison where the last consonant is attached to the first consonant uh, the first vowel of a new word all right look at uh, some of the examples listen and repeat come up together come up it's like one word one egg repeat keep on an hour Okay, this is particular because the H is not pronounced, so we have a vowel, the A, ah, as in the diphthong, the triphthong, our. Okay, let's practice this. Go ahead and read. Come up. Read. Keep on. Very good. Okay. Let's look at the disappearing consonant. You see you have one night, one night. Listen, one night. So we produce only one N here. So it's like one word, one night, one night. Less said, one word less said we leave we leave nice smile nice 
smile. Two words, but only one sound. Okay, this is a this is a mistake. This should be we'll leave. We'll leave. It should be um, the future form. Let's practice. One night. Read. We'll leave. Okay. Let's build up a sentence. T. T for. T for two. T for two. That's how the sound is. T for two. T for two. Let's try again. Let's. Let's stop. Stop at eight. You see, we have we have the the elision here, the pet, pet, and then tate. So it's all like one word. Stop at eight. Let's stop at eight. Let's stop at eight. Try that. Okay. And last, the vocabulary. Howl. Repeat. I uh, hops east. Owl higher. Oscar heaps smile. Sleep, heat, hatter, ale, hut, eat, otter, hail, utter, fluff, sweet. Weave, send, weaven, people, table, waggle, lesson, weevil, mum, less. Sooner, bomber, soon, bomb, Peter, Pete, teller, weaver, sender, tell, quite. Speak, flute, splice, plus, stool, fleece, spleen, blue, sky, flutter. Play Snake Snoop Smell Cut Get Cop Stem Come Guess Cost stocks. Okay, there were a few mistakes here. Guess uh, should be a G. Um, this word I don't know. This should be seven. It's instead it's weaven, and I read it weaven because that's what's written. Anyway, uh, practice that. 
remember that there is a list below if you want to copy and paste you can uh, find the meanings for those words and uh, I just want to thank you again for uh, joining the show I hope you enjoyed it see you next time bye bye